What is up everyone? It's your boy, your Shroom Hustler, Shane Tyler Milson. I'm here in Santa Monica, California. I'm on the pier and uh, watching the sunset. Take a beautiful look at this. Some roller coasters here, all types of magic. And uh, before I go into this video, I also wanna say, this is why California people are so freaking healthy. Everyone comes down to the pier when the sun's setting and they watch that sun go down over the horizon. Sun gazing is magical for your health. So in this video, I want to address a question that came up. People always ask me, how did I get into medicinal mushrooms? And I usually tell them the story of how I went shaga mushroom harvesting with my good friend Angelito, and that was the first time I really had a true experience. But what I always tell them is the first time I took that mushroom off the tree and harvested and drank it fresh, and I had a not psychedelic experience, but a psychic experience. And I wanna kinda cover what that means when I say that. So when people think of taking mushrooms, they always think psychedelic. They're thinking it's gonna trip you out, it's gonna have you seeing trees talking to you and colors over the horizons. But my experience was very different when I took shaga, and this is what got me so much into it, and you're gonna take value in this video because it will start happening to you at slow intervals or in macro doses. So here's what happened. When I took shaga for the first time at a true dose, fresh off the tree, with my good boy, Angelito Marco, shout out to you, what happened was Angelito and I were picking up each other's thoughts. I know it sounds crazy, I know it sounds weird, I don't even like saying it because it sounds fucking awkward, but it's true. I can't help but say it and feel it that when we were taking that drink and we were sipping on it, at first we're like, wow, it just feels so good to find it ourselves and how magical that experience was. But when we actually drank it, I'm gonna go for a walk while I'm telling you guys, but when we actually drank it, whew, it let something up. I could literally feel the thoughts that Angelito was having as likewise he was having with me. And that's how I knew that there was something special about this because it wasn't just me experiencing it, it was Angelito as well. And we went deep. We were catching each other's thoughts of standing by the stove minutes earlier. Angelito would stand where I was standing and think thoughts that I was thinking then. We started calling each other's thoughts, picking up images in each other's brains. And this really accents the part of Shaga that's known to be the intuitive factor. So Shaga opens a third eye, your pineal gland. Shaga is the number one food for opening the pineal gland because it's the highest dose of melanin of any food. Melanin gives our eyes the color, the skin, the hair, and the nails its vibrancy. Shaga's melanin also affects the third eye and it decalcifies it. So it got, the third eye gets calcified, your ability to trust your intuition and know what people are thinking and being mind reader and clairvoyant and clairaudient is blocked when you're drinking too much fluoride infested water, which is pretty much all tap water. Other minerals and other poisons can also do this as well, but Usually it's fluoride. So shaga decalcifies fluoride better than any other substance on planet Earth, making it the third eye opener. So when your third eye is open, you will do catch thoughts. And uh, the way to recognize it at this point from what I've realized is you just have to realize when thoughts that you're catching are not your own. You might confuse them as your own. You may even feel things that are not your own. And that's where you have to differentiate yourself, your feelings, your thoughts from others. And I felt that when I took Shaga for the first time, and what got me so much into Shaga was because I felt that experience. I knew that was worth my thoughts. I knew they were Angelitos, and Angelito also felt them for me. So that's a huge thing what I mean when I say I had a psychic experience, not necessarily a psychedelic experience with Shaga. And I'm certain that if you continue taking Shaga, you'll start to become in tune with that experience yourself. So that's all for today's video. Angelito, if you're watching this, much love. And uh, hello from Santa Monica on the pier. Go catch a sunset, drink some chaga, and live life in the fast lane vibrantly. Till next time, stay shroomy.